In a world first, a baby born with a rare and often fatal genetic mutation was healed with a gene editing treatment. I had this like profound feeling that like this is going to be the thing that helps, you know, change his life. Just oh. days after he the was boy's born. parents were originally preparing for the worst after a doctor told them that about half of the babies who are born with this disease die in the first week of life. But this new treatment could mark a breakthrough that extends to treating many rare genetic conditions. CTV science and technology specialist Dan Riskin is here with all the details on this story. And we're both parents, Dan, and that just gets you right in the heart. Oh, yeah. Uh, this little baby, by the way, is named KJ, suffered from what's known as CPS1 deficiency. First of all, what is that? So CPS1 deficiency means there's this just one base pair of DNA in that baby, all of, all of that baby's cells, that just can't quite make this one protein. And you need that protein because if you can't make that protein, your body has a buildup of ammonia. And ammonia is poison. Mm -hmm. And so if you eat normal food and you don't have that protein, the ammonia builds up, brain damage, liver damage, uh, the babies, as you said, die in the first week of life typically, but even on a strict diet, you're looking at a lifetime of severe disabilities and in brain damage and just the prognosis for those parents could not have been worse in that initial moment. And instead of sort of saying, well, this is, this is what happens when you get the, that roll of the dice, these medical professionals said, you know what, CRISPR, this genetic technology, maybe it's time to try this and actually change a kid's DNA after they're born to see if we can fix this. And then this story gets really remarkable. So KJ's diagnosis, and it was doctors at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. They got in touch with a researcher at Philadelphia, I understand, who specialized in gene editing therapy. So how did the treatment work? How was it developed? So people have probably heard the word CRISPR floating yes. around. It's this big, you know, people have won Nobel Prizes, and it's this big promise. And what it does is it goes in, it reads the DNA, it finds a specific specific sequence that, it, it, that you've told it to look for, and then it changes it. And it can do that and go through the whole body and change all the cells. And so they said, we, you know, we've done this with, with embryos, we've done this with, with animals, let's try it with this baby. And so they made a medicine. It took them six months. And the whole time they're trying to keep this baby alive. The baby is in a crib, can't be taken out, oh. is being given a special diet. It's in the seventh percentile for weight. I mean, it's hanging on to life mm -hmm. as these doctors work as hard as they can to develop these technologies. They finally, after six months, make a medicine and they give it to this baby. And all of a sudden, things start to change. And it's not quite perfect yet. So then they, up, they make another little bit more of the medicine. They give it a couple months later. And now this baby is eating normal foods. And they're talking about discharging the baby. I mean, it is literally a miracle. Yeah. Like the thing you would, you, when you sit there and you pray or whatever you do, and you wish that you had a different outcome, this is what you wish for. And the doctors were able to make it happen. So typically developing treatments or cures for rare diseases tend to sort of fly under the radar in the medical world. This one's not. I mean, you are here because the story is so incredible. But why is it that they're often a bit silent? Well, the thing is, it could be that genetic problem, but it could be another DNA thing, and then it's a whole different disease, right? Yeah. And so, and, and if you've got this one disease that's super rare and it's only one in 1.3 million babies that have it, it's hard to get enough money together to justify putting all that investment into it when you're only saving a, a handful of lives, when you could be spending the money on things that more people have. What's beautiful about this is that the same process that fixes that DNA could fix that DNA or that DNA. So anybody with a genetic problem is looking at this technology and saying, look, this could change my life, yeah. right? And it's not, it didn't have to be a baby. This is, the whole point is that it's a person who's been born and they take the medicine mm. and it goes through the body and starts changing the DNA in every single cell. It's a very powerful technology that's scary in a lot of ways, but this is like the the beautiful shining light of yeah. what it can This is the best do. version of what it can be designed to yes. do. In Canada, there's around 3 million people, I understand, who live with rare genetic diseases. We inter we've interviewed some of them here on this show. What implications would this breakthrough have for treating other rare conditions? Like, you know, I know in the medical community, they want to offer hope, but they never want to offer too high of an expectation. I mean, it's this is it, man. This is what we've been hoping for. Uh, the technology, this is the promise of CRISPR technology. Now, it, it can lead into dangerous things. Like somebody might say, hey, listen, I'd love my baby to have blue eyes. Can you help a brother out? Right. And you could use this technology to change a person's eye color or, or to change other things. Or you could say, hey, there's this variant of DNA and there's a 10% chance that I'll develop this genetic disease when I'm 80. Could right. you fix that for me? And so there's a real danger that this gets out of hand and people start tinkering. But with a case like this, where it's cut and dry, you've got a baby who's not going to have a, a, a 
a very healthy life yeah. and may have a very short life versus a normal life, it's just so easy to see why this is should be applied. And there are so many other cases like that where there's just this one base pair that's not quite right in somebody's DNA, and now we have the tools to fix it. It's a very exciting time. It's not something you can just go down to Shoppers Drug Mart and yeah. get at this stage, no. but we're heading there. That's just remarkable. I, I love when we're here with these great news stories. I know. We need more of them. We do. Science, uh, CTV Science and Technology hmm. Specialist Dan Riskin, great to have you here. Thank you. If you like that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed, where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning.